Uh, well, uh, at the minute, I'm quite happy where I am uh, after now seven weeks after my uh, surgery. Um, the last five or six weeks, I was working hard uh, in Switzerland. Um, the only aim I have was, yeah, to do as many hours in uh, for the rehab as possible. And uh, yeah, I think I'm I'm on the right way. Um, Still is uh, a bit to do, and it's going to be tight for um, some games this season. Obviously, it's my it's my aim to to help the team at the end of the season, and I will do everything to try it. But uh, I can't exactly say if if it's still possible or not. Yeah, obviously. Um, I think for everyone is is difficult lockdown um, for me especially because um, yeah I, I normally I can't uh, see my family my friends uh, normally um, they can visit me they travel here but now it's difficult um, so I was happy as well to have some weeks now at home to my rehab and uh, stay with my family you know and. Uh, just for my mentally strength for us was I think the best way for for being ready and doing everything for for my knee so um, yeah hopefully now the weather is good like we had it last April I think when when the lockdown uh, started more or less I think we had a <laughs> very nice uh, month so obviously I'm hoping it's more or less like this because then yeah it's, it's easier um, to have it but still like everyone is like desperate and hopefully um for an end of this uh this whole thing but um yeah it's part of thought for us uh, all now <laughs> obviously uh i don't need anyone to pump me up or uh, anything like that uh i'm just uh focus on my on, on the game on the team you know um there's some people or everybody's like trying to push push each other of course but uh i'm a person who's like um quite easy for that so uh i don't need like anyone who push me or say come on this stuff um yeah it's just myself who who, do, who does everything and uh then when I'm when I'm out on the pitch, um, that's that's my motivation, and then yeah, I'm giving always 100. <laughs> percent Well, um, yeah, it's a good question to be honest, um, because Andy, myself, we have uh, like. Uh, competition in uh, cooking and stuff and uh, we tried to push each other a bit and uh, yeah he was uh, asking for some Swiss chocolate and um, like everyone in uh, in the dressing room to be honest so normally I should come back with a bag of chocolate because everyone <laughs> really like it I understand but, but yeah he will, he will get some Tell us a little bit more about this cooking competition then. Is it just you and Andy or is, is there a few of you involved? No, we had like uh, Matarici or, or Callum sometimes. Uh, like uh, now it's a bit difficult, but bef before as well we had uh, like co like competition. Like uh, we live close to each other, then sometimes we say today you, you're cooking, then the next day maybe another one, you know. And just... Uh, to try something new, something uh, else than football, and uh, yeah, it's quite funny. Who's normally serves up the best dish then? <laughs> what should I say? Um, to be honest, um, Andy is, is really good, I have to say. Um, Matthew Rich is bad average, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, it's Andy or myself. Um, I have 
a new recipe where I want to try and uh, then I think uh, they know who, who is the best one, so we will see. Honestly, I, uh, I really enjoy living in Newcastle. Um, I live my area, I live in, in Chessman, I, I really like it. Um, I've, I have to say I've never met so um, friendly people than here. Um, from the day day one, everyone was really, really kind, helpful, and uh, yeah, really, really enjoy the people here. Um, obviously, yeah, like you said, winter and January, and when it's freezing and windy, it's like hmm, not not the nicest thing. But uh, the rest of all, I really uh, feel comfortable and. Um, yeah, I'm almost three years here and uh, feels like, like home now. Um, yeah, maybe with Andy because I want to see how it is to live with uh, five kids, you know. <laughs> you must have a different life and uh, sometimes I think a bit stressful, but on the other side, uh, yeah. I think he, he really enjoys, so would be a, a good test for me. My hair, look, I have a hat, so I don't think my hair is that good at the minute. <laughs> no, um, yeah, in the lockdown, I just uh, let it grow and just try something new, but I didn't really like it at the end, so. <laughs> At one point, I had to cut it a bit, so um, yeah, I go now a little bit short again. Um, I think there are some good barbers in Newcastle uh, around around here, so I think any one of them can can do a good one. And uh, yeah, is the top not done now? Then yeah, it's gone now. Uh, too many people are complaining about it, so too much pressure. Well, my mother language is German or Swiss German. Then uh, obviously I speak a bit English and uh, yeah, a bit of uh, Spanish as well. Can understand some French. And um, to be honest, uh, when I came to Newcastle, I couldn't understand Paul Dummett because his Jordi accent was like, for me, a new language. Always when he said anything, I was like, what? <laughs> Sometimes again, uh, still today, I, uh, I have to say, dummy man, you have to speak, you have to speak like proper English for me, please. Um, so I think for me, he's, he's the most difficult to understand. <laughs> well, my, my favorite goal, uh, obviously against Burnley, I think. Um, just always nice to see that goal and the sound of, of the post as well and uh, especially when we still had like uh, people in the stadium yeah just a great moment and then yeah to be honest I had a, one or two clearance of the line and um, special was of course uh, against Liverpool because this was um, yeah end of the game and we just wanted to get a point and uh, I could help with, with this clearance uh, to keep a clean sheet and um, yeah, I think that one was uh, really good for the team. Yeah, um, it's not the same obviously, um, we all miss, miss the fans, um, it's, it's not the same for us as well just feels different when you have a full stadium um, gives you an extra push um, special for us I think is having a big impact um, I mean if you play at home 52,000 uh, cheering for you gives you so much uh, energy and uh, also in the past we had some games where where I say that without the fans we wouldn't win win the game. For example, we had the, the game against Everton when when we were 2-0 down and won 3-2. 
um, these moments, this uh, atmosphere after after this uh, game was unreal, and uh, I think just everyone miss, missing that. But yeah, we had to accept it, and uh, hopefully there will be a, a change soon.